And now I'd like to introduce Chairman of the Board, the President of the USTA, Mike McNulty. Thank you, and congratulations, Carlos and Casper. What a match. The The determination, the mental toughness, the athleticism, I think I speak for all of the fans here, what a performance. So the performance tonight is the culmination of a spectacular three-week U.S. Open. But before we celebrate the players' success, I want to take a minute to extend our thoughts and our prayers to the people of Ukraine for a swift end to this unprovoked war on their nation. I'm proud to announce that during the U.S. Open, we raised $2 million for Ukrainian relief. But you know, it's only fitting that we undertook this effort as we celebrate the humanitarian and the champion that the stadium is named after, the great Arthur Ashe. And for the last three weeks, we've ushered in the next generation of champions. And we expect to see a lot of both of you over the many years. But this will be remembered as our most spectacular U.S. Open. And we couldn't have done it without the world's greatest fans. So congratulations, and thank you all very much. Thank you, Mike. And now let's hear from our finalist and the new number two in the world, Casper Ruth. Congratulations on an incredible run. Thank you. And um, before we talk about tennis, um, I just wanted to say something. Uh, as I know, it's an emotional day for Americans uh, during this state. Uh, I send my prayers to everyone who lost their lives on this uh, tragic day, tragic incident that happened. tragic incidents that happened here in this city and this beautiful country of yours and uh, my heart and thoughts go out to everyone who lost someone close, a relative or someone they loved, so something we never forget. Thank you. I know you do love this city. You call it the city of dreams, New York. This year, you've reached two Grand Slam finals in Paris as well as New York. You're now number two in the world. Put into words the experience of 2022 for you. 
Yeah, it's tough to explain everything, but things have been going so well, and of course I'm so excited for it. And today was a special day, evening. Uh, both Carlos and I, we knew what we were playing for, we knew what was at stake, and uh, it's fun that the final, both finalists will be number two and number one in the world uh, tomorrow. I think it's fitting. So whoever, uh, <laughs> I'm I'm disappointed, of course, that it's not. Uh, number one but number two is not too bad either so uh, I'm happy with that number and I will continue to chase uh, for my first Grand Slam and uh, the number one ranking. Sounds great you're both so young we look forward to it. Your tennis career and your efforts here a family affair your father Christian a former professional player your coach your mom your grandmom two sisters your box is full of family. Yes. What is this journey like to make it with them? Uh, yeah, they, uh, of course, I, I owe everything to them. They've been there since day one and uh, they've been caring and uh, helpful, thoughtful in all my life, all my journey and all my career. So I, ca I can't thank them enough. They are uh, the reason why I'm able to be here today. So uh, I hope we can uh, continue to have a strong relationship and be a strong team in many years in, in the future. So thanks for all effort and sacrifice you have done for me. Well, congratulations again on an incredible run to the finals of the U.S. Open. Best of luck in the future. Thank you. And now to hand the finalist his trophy, Mike McNulty. You are a champion and a teenager who's now the new world number one. Just 19 years old. No one's ever done this before. It's a first. How does it feel? Well, uh, as Carper uh, did, first of all, I wanted to say uh, I want to talk about today, a special day for everyone. Uh, I want to let you know that the, my thoughts are with all of you in this special day. Uh, so, I mean, uh, it's never, never easy, you know, to, uh, to live uh, this day as, as a normal day. But, uh, yeah, I, I will remember this, uh, this day with uh, all of you. And, uh, yeah, my thoughts are with uh, all of you, guys. Thank you, Carlos. your moments and your grand achievement. Put it into words for me. Number one and a Grand Slam champion. Well, this is something that the, I dreamed of uh, since, I was, since I was a kid, you know, to be number one in the world, to be champion so, uh, of a Grand Slam. Uh, this is something that I work really, really hard for. Uh, I mean, mm, it's tough to talk right now, a lot of emotions right now, but uh, yeah, it's... Uh, This is something that, uh, yeah, I try to, to achieve uh, all the hard work that uh, I did with my team, my family, that uh, took care uh, about me. I'm just 19 years old, so all the decisions, the top decisions are with, with my parents, my team as well. So uh, this is uh, something that, uh, yeah, is uh, really, really special for me. I saw you sitting down as we all did, and you were crying through your smiles, tears and smiles all at the same time. What were you thinking? Uh, my mom, that is, uh, she's not here, and uh, my grandfather, 
I, I was I was thinking about them that the, yeah oh, a lot of uh, family are here uh, team but the, there are a lot of uh, people of uh, from my family that the, they they couldn't come here to to watch the, the final to watch uh, some matches and the, yeah I, w I was thinking on in, in all of them. I have a quick question for you. You played three set matches, four more today, almost four more hours today. Before the match, you said this is no time to be tired. Are you tired yet? Uh, a little bit. <laughs> no. No, I mean, uh, yeah, I, I always say that uh, it's not time to be tired in, a, in the final round of a Grand Slam on, or in, in every tournament, you know. Uh, you have to, to give uh, everything on court. You have to, to give uh, everything you, you, you have inside. I mean, it's uh, something that uh, I work really, really hard uh, on it. And uh, yes, I, as you said, it's not time to be tired. <laughs> Finally. I look around and I see so many Spanish flags and you know you have an incredible fan base here. Why don't you say a few words to your Spanish fans here and all over the world? Voy a cambiar a español para todos vosotros. Eh, la verdad que muchísima gente ha venido de España para, para verme, para animarme este día tan especial. Mucha gente de todo el mundo. Mucha gente de, de todo el mundo ha venido para animarme, para, para verme en este día tan especial. La verdad que el, el cariño y, y que, que, que he recibido desde el primer día, desde el, la primera ronda ha sido increíble. Siempre he dicho que, que probablemente eh, haya sido la, el, el público y, y el ambiente que, que más he vivido en una pista de tenis gracias a vosotros y la verdad que ha sido increíble poder vivir todo esto junto a vosotros. O sea, muchísimas gracias. Thank you. And now I'd like to introduce Andrew Al Cohen, Executive Chair of JP Morgan Chase, to present you with $2.6 million. Congratulations, and now the four-time U.S. Open men's champion, John McEnroe, would like to present Carlos with the trophy. Your 2022 U.S. Open men's champion, Carlos Alcaraz. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.